Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and joining me on the summit today is Jordan Jones, who is the head softball coach for Central Hi. Baptist. And the Mustangs, coach, uh, are doing well again this season in your fourth season with the program. But you know, you just crossed the 100 win plateau in your tenure there, and you're the fastest person in in school history to get to that mark. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A lot of assistance, um, great support, and really awesome young ladies that made that happen. So it, it was an honor. So Now, I say fourth season, and it's probably realistically, and I know, you know, people are going to look back on history as they do, probably more three and a half because uh, you have a half season in the books, and, and very likely, I believe, at the pace the team was going last year, you could have hit that 100-win plateau in year three. But it is what it is, and talk about playing then in actually getting the season this year. It was great to get a, a whole season this year. Um, honestly, even when we started, um, you know, come fall, we were still very hesitant on, you know, make every – practice we get our last because we just didn't know you know how it was going to end up and um you know we had one senior return for her um fifth year that took the COVID year and we have a lot of seniors this year um and and they are they were hungry they did <laughs> they did not want last season to end um so you know we're we're led by a really really goal-driven um selfless group of seniors that have um led this group well and made all the difference in the world. So the Mustangs, are, Mustangs are 27 and 11 right now in the season number 18 in the NAIA, according to the most recent poll. And I know there's going to be another one coming out here pretty soon. And you finished the regular season in the number two spot in the American Midwest conference. So uh, it sounds like a team that's hungry and, and has those goals. Talk about your season. Yeah, um, well, we've had, I would say, one of the toughest, if not the toughest, schedule in the NAI this year. We've played seven ranked teams, um, and some of those being double headers. We played the number two team in the nation uh, Friday and lost two nail biters to them. So, um, you know, when we show up to play, we're competing with the best in the nation. And, um, you know, it's it's been a hard year, but we made it that way on purpose. Um, I think two years ago when we got to the conference tournament, um, we had, it was kind of like the bottom of our conference before we got there. So I specifically scheduled it more difficult, more um, competition late in the season so that we'd be ready for conference tournament this year. So, and I think we are, um, the girls are excited. They're ready to roll. So we're ready to get up there. That, that has to be good for you then, I'm, I'm sure. We're speaking with Jordan Jones, who is the head softball coach at Central Baptist College. And here on the summit, please do consider subscribing to the channel to Midwest Sports Net. Coach, you have a national championship already to your credit with the NCCAA, and that was back in 2018. The next year, you get the team back in the NAIA tournament again for the first time in a few years. It looked like it was heading that way again uh, this uh, this past season, again, 2020. But, uh, you know, you're, you've got things going down the right track now. When you look back at, at what uh, the team has been able to accomplish under your leadership there, and you go, wow, uh, ha- has it, is it the right pace? Is it where you thought it would be? Is it faster? You know, where are you now in in what you thought you might be? Um, way, I will be completely honest. So it's been way more than I could have ever imagined. Um, you know, I took over the program at 24 years old (laughs) and you know, all the, when I took over, I was confident, but I also knew all the doubts that everybody had about me taking over. And, um, And I just kind of went fearless with it and not fearless, I'll be not fearless, (laughs) but, um, but the support group that I had around me and the, you know, I just knew whenever I decided to finally take it, I knew it was, it was where I was supposed to be. And it was a God thing. So with that came confidence. Um, and I was able to, you know, take and turn it and, and kind of get these girls playing in a, in a confident manner and simplify things for them. And we've had amazing an amazing support staff and amazing girls um I've got four with me this year that have been here with me all four years um Alyssa Estrada's had me as an assistant and four years as a head coach and then we've got 
you know, Allison Seeds, Caitlin Goyke, Bailey Jackson. Um, they've been here all four years. Uh, Caitlin Gordon got here, you know, year two for me, and, and she's been huge ever since then. Um, and I could go on and on and on, and every year they just keep coming in. I, I don't – I literally every year I just feel so blessed with the girls that we get. Um, and it's an adjustment period. You know, every year we lose a couple people, and this year I think more than any – you know, it, it was difficult. I don't, I like to think COVID has a, has a play in it and things like that. But, um, you know, we're far beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, and that's just an attribute to, you know, how hard these girls work and um, the people that I have around me. And, um, you know, we hope to continue to just to build and, and do the best that we can with what we have. And I fully believe that, you know, the girls that are here, they're here because, because God's given them a talent and a purpose and, um, you know, a love for the game. And so for me, I'm like, if God gave us the talent, let's go win ball games with it. Let's fan the flame and, and run with it. So um, that's what we've tried to do. So hopefully we can, you know, finish strong this year. That's the goal. I always am encouraged when I hear that something's a God thing, that uh, that you're, you're in the right place at the right time, and it does look to be that way. Well, as you're starting to wind down this spring 2021 season, you all will head into the American Midwest Conference tournament this week as the number two seed, playing 3 o'clock on Wednesday against the winner of Harris Stowe and Hannibal LaGrange. So I know that you, you really have to still wait it out to find out exactly uh, what your first matchup is going to be, and then the possibility does lie in store, and I have to think it's a very good possibility of another trip to the NAI tournament. How do you look at the postseason? Um, we look at it hungry again. I know I use that word a lot, but um, we just feel like we had a lot of unfinished business last year, and um, we didn't like how we ended you know, the year before um, as far as conference goes. Um, so, you know, we've got Hannibal LaGrange or Harris Stowe, um, we, we swept everybody in the conference except for Columbia. We've got, uh, we've got beef with Columbia, but, um, uh, you know, we appreciate them. They're great competitors and, um, we look forward to fighting hard and getting to Columbia. Columbia would be our third game in the conference, uh, tournament. It'll be, you know, the sit back game. Whoever wins that waits on that championship game the next day. So, um, I've been talking about, you know, to the girls about peaking and I feel like we've gotten better and better ever since we've seen them last um, as far as just putting barrels on balls and mentally competing for seven full innings. Um, and that's, you know, pitching wise too is huge. Um, so uh, we look forward to it. There's, I, there's no telling where we'll get, you know, place in the opening rounds. Um, if we, you know, if we get to make it there, but um, we've played, we've played the best. So, we're excited and we're ready to roll. And I think that um, we've been well prepped in what we've seen so far um, just to be ready to compete come postseason. So we'll see. We're excited. It's, it sounds like that your team is ready, Coach. 27 and 11 coming in to the postseason. Again, that will be on Wednesday for the CBC Mustangs and the AMC uh, League Tournament and the possibility, again, of the NAI as well. Coach Jordan Jones in her fourth season, 108 wins and 50 losses. And again, the fastest to reach that 100-win plateau. And success to you as you push toward that 200-win plateau in the future. Coach Jones, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Go Mustangs.